If we look at a food label, for instance this one here, it is for a small brownie and it lists the calories at 70. Now if we look at the macronutrients, carbohydrates, protein, and fats, we are taught that one gram of carbohydrates equals four calories, one gram of protein also equals four calories, and one gram of fat equals nine calories. So I've done the math here on the screen and we get a total of 103 calories. 103 calories versus 70 calories. That's quite a difference, but why is that? To answer this question, let's start with calorie calculations by food manufacturers. In the US, there are different methods that can be used and some adjustments that companies can make. The first is the 449 method, which we just did the calculation for. The second method is the Atwater method, which uses an Atwater table. This takes into account the food type when assigning calories to carbs, protein, and fats. I'll put a link in the description box below to an Atwater table. As a quick example, in the Atwater table, Eggs provide 3.68 calories per gram for carbs, 4.36 calories per gram for protein, and 9.02 calories per gram for fats. And for brown rice, it's 4.12, 3.41, and 8.37 calories per gram for carbohydrates, protein, and fats. So the type of food does matter when it comes to calories. These are the two main methods that are most frequently used. The next discrepancy could be from adjusting for non-digestible carbohydrates and sugar alcohols. Fiber is a non-digestible carbohydrate, at least in the way other carbohydrates are digested. And there are two types of fiber, soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Soluble fiber does actually provide some calories, as it is broken down by bacteria in the large intestine. And soluble fiber provides about 2 calories per gram, and insoluble fiber does not provide any calories at all. And while fiber is listed on the nutrition labels, most companies do not list the amount of each of the two different types of fiber. So sometimes companies assign the two calories per gram for the soluble fiber. Now for sugar alcohols. Sugar alcohols are a type of carbohydrate that contain a smaller amount of calories per gram depending on the type of sugar alcohol. One note, sugar alcohols are not required to be listed on food labels unless a statement is made on the packaging label about the health effects of sugar alcohols or sugar. And another method used to calculate calories is using bomb calimetry. This process involves burning food items and measuring how much heat it releases and converting that to calories. One other thing to mention is that companies are allowed to round off calories. So this can also be a factor to why the calories on the food label do not match the 449 method. The bottom line is that the total calories, and as you have seen, the calories from carbohydrates, protein, and fats are not an exact science. I think that using the 449 method to calculate calories is better than looking at the calories listed on the label, as this requires you to look at the amount of carbohydrates, protein, and fats, which can help you consume a more well-rounded and balanced diet. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.